Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday. It is a little bit after 7. I've been up since 4 o'clock. I woke up from my nightmare, could not go back to sleep. Um, and I was watching uh, reaction videos for the last about three hours. Reaction videos to horror movies. <laughs> I love watching, oh, I love horror movies and I love watching people's first, especially the first reaction. I think it's funny. Anyways, okay, we're going on off the topic here. I figured since my family is still sleeping and the home is quiet still, I would sit down and do my first update to Project Polish. It has been a month. I uploaded my video on the 21st and today is the 24th of uh, February. So January 21st is when I uploaded my intro and today's the 24th. Let's do this so we can stay on track. This is my nail wheel. Let me cover up or show you guys my color palette here. So from here to here, those are the polishes that I'm working with. This is a warm white probably can't tell that there's anything on that nail I'm really happy with the color story that I started off with these colors have been very easy to work with as far as uh, they go with really any work outfit they work well together uh, if I want to pair them up they also work well with some polishes that I have on my winter seasonal rack so they're very friendly let me start off with a polish that I think um, and I should have gone to watch my intro video but i think i remember mentioning that i wanted to work this down halfway down from my starting point and i didn't do that um which is concerning me at this point <laughs> a little dramatic but the reason why it's concerning me is because this is a rollover from 2023 i added this at some point possibly after summer i can't remember now and this bottle was full i think um not think i know that when i put this in the project i'd only used it once and i used it as an accent nail on my pinky fingers incorporated with other polishes right so this bottle was pretty full and then i was able to get you know one update two updates and then not not too much more after that now the line has settled just a little bit more but i'm not ready to mark it just yet and that's not from me using it in this past month because i did not touch this but because the line went down just a little bit. I do want to show you guys where it's at. So you can see it's right below my last mark. So this is my starting point pretty much for 2024. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is in this next month, maybe um, incorporate it into some Skittles Manny, possibly wear it on its own. It's a really nice silver. I don't know why I'm um, not leaning towards it, especially during, you know, the season, winter. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping to or planning on putting this on the toes, if not next, maybe the pedicure after this, because I would like to get this done before spring gets here and I don't have that much time left. So maybe incorporate it into some Skittles manis and quite a few pedicures just to get it done and, and over with. All right, the next one, and you won't see progress from this one, but I did reach for it for one pedicure. This is Tom Ford's Black Cherry. Uh, this is gadget free, by the way, from Essie, and I have it on my little wheel. I should have done that because I don't have a manicure to show you. Um, I think I have a manicure from last year, so I'll put that picture up so you guys can see it on the nails. It's a nice smoky silver. It's not too bright, but it's not too smoky either. It's kind of in between. It's a good color. Okay, so Black Cherry from Tom Ford. This is another rollover from 2023. And it was full and I worked it down to here. So that's my starting point for 2024. And let's see. Okay, you can see the gap there. This is still very easy to use. Doesn't take a long time to dry. I really like this color. I reached for it one time, um, but not enough to uh, mark it again. So... I'm gonna to try to focus on this one as well, uh, quite a bit. The, this one and the, the silver, because um, I don't want either of these to go into 
spring with me. This is not a color that I usually gravitate towards outside of fall and winter. Last year I did wear it I think every season but it's not a color that I enjoy very much in the warmer months so I'm really going to push myself to, to finish this off. Um, I have quite a few more Manny and Petties to go with this one. It's not one that moves you know very fast for some reason um, and every time I've worn it I, I, I add a good two coats um, so all right the next one um, yeah let's do this one because this one yeah no let's do these two because I don't have progress to show with these but I did wear them as well um, both of these actually are incorporated into the same manicure and I use them both on one nail on each hand so which is why I I don't have a lot of progress to show and this one actually I also used it and dry brushed it on the toes and did, did a little glitter gradient but again not enough to show progress so let's um let's see here that is my starting point and this is NCLA's Grace by the way that's my starting point haven't moved from that so a couple accent nails and then dry brush the glitter on to a pedicure this is um, a champagne chunky glitter and it's my favorite one of my favorites from my entire collection I love it this is such a good glitter to wear year-round um, so I don't mind this staying with me the entire of the entirety of this year the white one that I have in the project is from OPI it's trash day sorry So you're going to hear a little bit of noise. Um, the white one that I have in this project is from OPI. This is called It's in the Cloud. And once again, I use this as an accent nail. And this is, I think this was on my pinky. So, you know, not, I didn't use it to cover a large surface area. So didn't, no progress. That's where I'm starting off. It's a nice warm white. It's really pretty. I want this to be my next manicure. I've really been wanting uh, white nails and actually I've really been wanting um, a white pedicure but because I'm really focusing <laughs> on this one um, and I want to focus on these and I don't want to wear them as head as manicures um, I'm gonna hold off from this one on the toesies for now but I do want to wear this on on the hands next the next one is this nude one from Essie this is called topless and barefoot and Previous marks, once again, you know, roll over from 2023. Let me get it. Uh, so, my starting point was right here. Progress is so small with this one. Um, I debated on marking it because I didn't want the lines to... bleeding into each other <laughs> but you can see just a tiny tiny bit of progress this is one manicure i'm hoping to be done with this one um hopefully by next update i may not get all the way down possibly i'm thinking um to finish off some of these polishes especially the ones that get super super thick all the way down I'm thinking I'll sponge them on and that um, that helps um, to finish it without having to deal with um, the excessive drying time or thickness of the polish and I paired this one up with just an illusion from orally that's the manicure you guys are gonna see okay the red one in this project also has some markings from the previous year excuse me Okay, and then this one, let's see, where's my line? Right there. A tiny bit of progress. I did use this one twice, though. Um, the first manicure that I'm going to show you guys ha is with uh, Be Positive from 90 Lacquer as a little topper. It's really, really pretty manicure. And the second manicure, I layered this um, 
with two other polishes. I use this as a base uh, and then just added one coat and then one, uh, one coat of Shine of the Times from Essie. And then I added a different chunky red glitter um, that had a jelly base from China Glaze and it's called Sparkled On. I was just curious to see, you know, what would come out of it. And in the end, I couldn't see the holographic. I could see a little sparkle, but no holographic. Uh, it was still, though, a very, very beautiful manicure. A first manicure I did at two coats, possibly three coats. Uh, no, two coats of this and one coat of uh, Be Positive. Second manicure, just one coat of this which is why you're not seeing too much usage. Really, really great red. It has a great formula, dries really fast, which I love, especially for quick, you know, manicures during the week. Um, this is a very uh, friendly polish for that because during the week, I don't really want to spend too much time. I'm tired, you know, and, um, and I don't want to spend like an hour waiting for first of all painting my nails and then waiting for my nails to dry so which is why I love this one and then the last one that I'm actively working on is from Muchi Muchi this one I did focus on quite a bit I know I have um do I have I know I have one manicure at least to share uh but I did wear it as a pedicure for two weeks back to back and I do my pedicure every single week. This one, I am gonna finish it off um, and I may incorporate it with this white polish next, but I'm gonna sponge this on to finish the last of this because this is now taking so long to dry. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my um, monthly manis video and I'll link it up in the cards if you guys wanna check that out. Uh, that those videos focus on the polishes that are in my win on my winter seasonal rack Anyways, this one I put on my nails I think two and a half hours to three hours prior to going to bed and I woke up with some of the polish pushed in and you know smudged in certain areas I woke up with sheet marks on the toes So it is taking longer than three hours for this to dry now, which is you know um, not something that I want to be dealing with. I do though want to finish the last little bit of it. For the second pedicure, I painted my toes. I think it was on the weekend, but I painted my nails earlier and I was going to be home just wearing sandals. So, uh, allowed ample time for it to dry. But in reality, I mean, nobody really has that kind of time, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be doing that. So I think, um, to reduce the drying time, I'm gonna sponge this on. Um, and it has gotten thicker. It's a little bit difficult for me to reach for the polish with the brush, um, even while tilting the bottle and all of that. This should be done. Um, I'm gonna say maybe in the next two weeks. That's my goal. I think the manicure that I have to feature here, and I paired this up with, I think it was called Fairy Dust from a polish that I bought um, at my local HEB during Hall Hall Halloween season, maybe a couple of years ago or something like that. Okay, the next three polishes, I don't, I'm not actively working on them. I do wanna feature them again. I mentioned them in my intro that these will be replacing some of the polishes. As I, I finish some of these out, I will be introducing one of these. Because I plan on, um, finishing this in the next two weeks, I do want to start, um, uh, introduce another polish. Um, and I don't want to do the red one just yet. Be positive. Um, uh, although not in the project yet, I am using it, um, and working it down. So this last month I wore it once with the red polish. This next month I plan on putting it over top of the black cherry one because it produced a beautiful manicure for me last year and I want to use I want to do that but on the toes next the one that I'm going to add next and kind of thinking about this actually I don't know if to add this one or this one um I think I'm going to add this one actually so let me um actually show you guys where I'm at with Alice so you guys can see and I will mark it that's where I'm going to start off with Alice I'll mark I'll mark it now. I, I want a little bit of color. And I think this color works beautifully for winter, spring, summer, you know. 
I have um, a good chunk of time to finish this out. The um, last one is another pastel pink. I'll probably add this one next. Once I finish maybe the nude one um, from Essie. Then I'll add polish. So I just marked my little Alice polish. Okay. And then polish, this is called the Bell Witch. This is a pastel pink with gold flakes and it's gorgeous. So at some point I will add this one. Maybe when I finish a topless and barefoot from Essie, I will be adding this one. Goals, like I mentioned, is to work on these, get these down quite a bit, possibly not finish them yet, just yet, but really get get that line moving halfway through at least this one halfway through here and then this one halfway through here what I'm actually gonna do right now is mark I think I mentioned this in my intro video that I wanted to start marking them where I wanna you know what my goal is and then um, to maybe motivate me you know to get to that line this one I'm gonna aim for that line and then this one I'm gonna aim for that line oh that's right there that is everything for this video guys thank you so much for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed it I hope that you guys are doing well in your project polish um, and that you are enjoying the manicures that are coming out of uh, maybe combinations that you guys are doing thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next